Okay, so here's the important question. How often should we be eating? I've heard every three hours, maybe four, is that true? Well, it, it really depends on the lifestyle, in my opinion. So, for for instance, I'm not a huge breakfast person. You know, I'm not going to have a f big meal at breakfast. It might be a little bit more something grab and go. I guess that's my style. So I know that lunch will need to be shortly after, maybe three hours or so. You don't want to go more than five, six hours without eating because, again, that leads to the hunger, the hangry, and that's what we're right. trying to avoid. Absolutely. So depending dependent on lifestyle. Yes. So skipping meals. I know we were talking about this um, off camera, skipping meals is not favorable. Right. The longer you spend without eating, like we said before, first you, you get hungry and then you get hangry. Mm -hmm. When we get hangry, our food decisions start to deteriorate. Right. We go from, oh, let me have a salad to, I want a big burger with fries and a Coke. Right. <laughs> and then you feel horribly guilty after. And then you after. feel horribly guilty afterwards, exactly. So the longer you wait, the worse your decisions start to become mm -hmm. and the more we end up eating. And if you haven't eaten all day, you could probably justify having that big meal. Right. right. But because you haven't eaten, oh, I haven't eaten anything all day, let me have this big meal. But is that the way that you want to go, especially when you're coming home late and tired and, you know, you're going to go to bed shortly after. Not right? only that, you don't want to create that kind of pattern. Right. Correct. Because eventually that doesn't lead to, to smart food choices. Correct. I mean, over long term, what happens is, you know, we have to remember that when we actually eat, we give our metabolism work to do. So it needs to break down the food. We're actually activating our calorie burning center. <laughs> so we want to be eating so that we're actually burning calories. If we chronically fast, you know, I, don't, I skip breakfast and lunch and I only have dinner, and I do that over a period of weeks, months, years, my metabolism has slowed down to the point where it only expects food at one certain amount of right. time. So so there's no need to be burning calories during the rest of the time.